Okay, back doing another demo. Uh, this time I want to talk about uh, getting notifications working. Okay, so there is, uh, let's see how I can uh, make this a bit bigger. Yeah, you all can see this. I'm not worried about making it bigger right now. Uh, so there's a built in package. Something's sort of flickering around here. Uh, for. Um, heck is going on here with this microphone for there's a built-in package micro uh, microphone there's built-in package notifications so we can get some help on that package notifications and this is built in but you need to enable it so that's what I'm doing here if um, use package notifications and if we run this see once notifications are turned on That's weird. This is a full screen. I don't see notifications. Okay, so you only see them if they're if we're not in full screen. That's okay. Weird. Okay, but you can get use notifications. Now, why do I care about this? Because I want to have notifications turned on when I finish running tests for my. I've got a lot of stuff they've done here that I haven't talked about yet. So let's do this on compile finish. Let's finish compile something like that. On compile. Compile. Finish. Finish. Um, so let's see. What was that? It was compile. Finish. Compile. Finish functions. Okay, that's the function I wanted. Uh, I should have probably talked about this a bit more, a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. No. Okay. So you have this function after you install notifications of notifications notify and you can send body and all this type of thing uh let's maybe make this look a little bit better in here and right so then you can run the notify so the timeout you have 300 300 uh, 3000 milliseconds and i'm just sending a message here that says notifications enabled and we can take a look at the um, all kinds of different things that you can set up here, but that's pretty much all that I needed for it. So let's this thing turn this off, and what we're gonna do here is compile finish. So we want to oh, where did it go? HF uh, was it a function? Was it a variable? Compile finish finish. Um, uh, finish finish functions so function to call when functions to call when the um, when the process is finished so let's try and get one of these working uh, so first Let's get us a source, uh, Emacs list, this, and what do we want? We want the fun. Now that I'm gonna get it in here, into up. Nope. And let's do uh, the. Function um, on fly after compile. Let's see what then this takes two two arguments the compilation buffer and the string. This is so comp 
buffer and uh, ex exit string. No, that's not what I wanted. No. And this is going to uh, notify when uh, if I when compile is done. Well, no. No, it says what, what this isn't. It's weird. Uh, yeah. And I don't want that to be interactive. Uh, okay, so. Pretty simple. I think we just want to do notify. Um, notification to notify. Um, and title. Compile. Com. Why can't I com pile and body? Let's make this a little nicer and body. And this will be the exit string. String. And timeout. Let's give a timeout too. And let's give it five out. Okay, and now we want to um I think it's add add to list. Uh what was what was it? Uh compile Wow, why does it do this? Compile um Let's go back to our help buffer. No. Compile finish functions. And what do we want to do is we want to add our notify. If I Notify. Notify after compile. Opa. F. Oh, this is really getting fat fingered today. Okay, let's see that worked. Okay. Uh, maybe this needs to be quoted. Probably. Some to set a constant symbol nil. Now, I always thought that nil... Wait a minute. Nil is not an empty... Why doesn't that work? Add to list... Wow, you can't do that. It needs to be quoted. Now that's nuts. Really? Wait, if what if I put something in there? At the list, list var. Now that's the <sighs> valve after load. Maybe I need to do that, but uh, I mean, we have it. 
check that later, but this is... Um, ad hook. Now that's weird. Why is it ad hook instead of... Okay. Okay, that seems like that is the right thing. Notify after. Okay. And let's... Mark you done. Uh, okay, so let's try compiling this. Compile. Compile. Exit string. Oh, but my exit string is not a... Why not? Uh. Okay, let's try that again. Compile. Yep. Hmm. What did I not do right here? So this is supposed to be, right? No. Yeah, sorry. Each function takes two arguments. A string describing how the process is finished. The compilation buffer and a string describing how the process is finished. And the args here should be compile buffer. Exit string. Ah, you crazy. You. Complaining that you're not done. Ah. Uh, okay, let's try that one more time, and it should work in L. LS. Yep, let's save that. And let's see what kind of. Finished. Compile is finished. I'll, let's see if we can, if we can just. Um, Should be a buffer name. Well, let's get in here. I think there's a buffer name. Buffer name. Comp buffer. And help on this. Just make sure that it's buffer name. It takes the buffer, right? Buffer name. Now we want to do cat and drop slurp. And let's try that. One more time, and we will do a compile. Pile. Hey, why didn't you work that time? Oh, compilation finished. Excellent. And let's just add in another. this. Good. Oh. Great. And we can do another compile. Compilation finished. Okay, so now when I run those long tests and I'm trying to figure out uh, and I don't want to wait around for all my tests to finish, I can go watch videos on YouTube. 
And then when the tests are done running, I know I can do it working again. Okay, so thanks for watching. And this has been another Fat Finger demo. I haven't done one of these in a while, so hopefully I'll do another one soon. Call to 